general consensus right now is that a lot of skaters are doing too many jumps in a given day, and that's why we're seeing the injury rates. Uh, we're seeing 20% of the skaters with stress fractures in a given arena who are jumping on a daily basis, and that's a very, very high injury rate. Melissa Bulenhage is a highly ranked American figure skater. She's at the University of Delaware's Ice Skating and Development Center to improve her performance and reduce her risk of injury. Right now, I'm trying to get a triple axel um, clean. Uh, right now, it's short, like a quarter turn. And in order to get full credit, it has to be three and a half times around in the air. Melissa was injured uh, a few years ago on the takeoff of a triple lutz jump. She turned her ankle. This is a common, a fairly common injury for skaters that can land that particular jump. High on the left or low on the right. The process of perfecting jumps in the skating lab begins with light reflecting strategically placed markers, which allows a computer to digitally record the jump. Once a jump has been captured, it can be analyzed to find which changes in body position will help the skater improve. Emma Fibbs, a pair skater who made the national team in 2001, is trying to make a comeback after taking a few years off from competing to finish college. I really want to get my triple throws solid and I really want to get my jumps really nice and consistent, which is really important for pairs. The main issue is that my trunk is uh, being thrown off by my left elbow. She's got one arm down a lot lower than the other. This one's away from the body more so than the one on the right. And to compensate for the fact that this is away, she's got to lean over to the other side. Now we can sit here and play with these things on the computer and say, if you move your arm here, this is how it will change your jump. So, and when we're finished with that, you'll see a three-dimensional model of that. Every time you make a change, it'll recreate the three-dimensional model. And they'll actually get an image of themselves, what they would look like if they did it that way. Um, on the video, we noticed that my left elbow was sticking out and I was a little bit crooked in the air. I went back and I practiced my throws and I focused on keeping my elbow down and my landings were a lot more solid and everything helped. Each of the six jumps in figure skating land on the same leg, which adds up to a lot of potential for injury. As the skaters begin to learn how much impact their jumps are delivering to their own bodies, uh, they can use that as feedback to begin to learn how to jump differently. Using a device called a tibial accelerometer, Kat Arbor is conducting research on the impact of jumps. It's a small device, it's about the size of a large wristwatch, and it measures impact in three different directions. We're putting it on the shin of the skaters and we're looking at how much impact each jump takes off and lands with. The hope is to eventually have enough data to make recommendations to U.S. figure skating and other skating organizations about whether to change the guidelines on jumps. In baseball, they have limited the number of pitches that children are able to do uh, before they're at risk of hurting their elbow or hurting their upper extremity somewhere along the line. And we're making that assumption that the same kind of uh, limit should be placed on skaters. 